Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a beautiful handbag here. You can check out some more pictures on my social media. I will put all the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy. So before we start, I just want to talk about this bag a little bit. Some of you guys asked me to make the tutorial for this purse, the yellow one right here. But the yarn that I use for the yellow one, is I bought it from Thailand, which is this brand. And I can't find anywhere in USA. So I decide to looking for new yarn for the handbag. And then I found this uh, yarn this is 100% nylon first I'm kind of like not sure about that but when I work with this yarn and it turned out pretty good I kind of like it <laughs> so this yarn is pretty hard the same as the uh, yellow yarn right there it's pretty hard yarn so for me I like harder yarn for handbag personally you can use any yarn that you like and this bag, this part here, is not difficult to make. But when we sew the purse frame into handbag, that is pretty hard. But I want you guys to give it a try. Okay, and I'm just going to show inside. And for this tutorial, I don't show you how to make the lining. Okay, because I have a separate video for that how to make lining for crochet bag. I will put the link in the description below. And for this part, which is part one, I'm going to show you how to make the bag. And then part two, I will show you how to sew the purse frame into the bag. All right. For this project, you will need purse frame. I bought this from Etsy. And I will put the link in the description below. You can use any kind of purse frame that you like and any sizes. And in uh, on Amazon, they also have a lot of these uh, purse frame. I will put the link in the description below as well. Doesn't matter what size or uh, what style that you choose for the purse frame. And then. The yarn that I use, it is Irish 197 yards, 100% nylon. And this is the color. And this is number 18. I bought this from Joanne, but I bought it online. And two skin, it should be enough for this project. I don't use the whole two skin. I just use about one and a half. And you can use any kind of yarn that you like. I will show you exactly what you need to do for whatever yarn that you have or purse frame that you have. And then you will need the chain for the uh, bag. This is going to be the bag strap. And then crochet hook, size 4 millimeters. You need scissors, your needle, marker. This is the uh, purse fit. And then this this is needle point, but I'm going to use this to put inside the bag, in the bottom of the bag. And then I will put the purse fit to lock it, to make uh, the bottom of the bag harder, to make it in beautiful shape. <laughs> you don't need this if you don't want, okay? And one more thing that you will need, it is monofilament. I believe <laughs> it's difficult for me to say it. It's like fitting line I used to sew this perfume to the back here. 
it's, I like this one a lot because it's really strong. Okay, and you can use whatever thread or whatever is strong. Okay. So to make uh, your bag to fit your purse frame, you need to make the bottom of the bag is fit inside this frame here. Okay. See, I will put that in there. So it have to be inside this line. Okay. So I'm going to put that in there. See, whatever yarn you have, whatever purse frame you have, you're going to make the bottom is fit in there. Not bigger or not smaller, okay? And after you have that bottom, and you can start with the body of the purse, okay? Okay, first I'm going to make slip knot. And then I'm going to chain 19 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I will meet you guys when you have 19 chains. Now I have 19 chains. That's what it looks like. So you are might be different. So you need to uh, measure your purse frame and your chain. See, have to fit that in there. So I will start this part. So I make just one chain bigger the inside line because when we make a single crochet, it will uh, a little bit smaller, just a little bit. Okay. Make sure when you finish that gonna be inside line of your purse frame. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let me know if you have any question, okay? <laughs> so, row one, I'm gonna skip one chain stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. Insert the hook into next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. That's first single crochet. We're just gonna make one single crochet into each chain stitch. This is two single crochet. And three. You're gonna keep making that. So this yarn is kinda hard, so take practice if you never use harder yarn. Okay, so I will meet you guys when you come to the end of row one. I'm in the end of row one. That's what it looks like. And I have 18 single crochet stitches. And then for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn. The chain one never count at a stitch. You can turn foot and chain doesn't matter. And then we're gonna make single crochet into the first stitch and each stitch across. So the first single crochet, do again with next stitch. From now on, you're just gonna repeat row two, okay? So I will meet you guys again when you come to the end of row 2. Now I'm in the end of row 2 and I have the same 18 single crochet stitches. Make sure you count your stitches uh, every row so you not increase or decrease by accident. Okay. And then like I said from now on we're just gonna repeat row 2. So row 3 I'm just gonna chain 1 and turn and we just repeat row two make a single crochet into the first stitch and then and then each stitch across okay so keep making that when you come to the end of row three you're gonna do the same, chain one and then turn and make single crochet into each stitch. Repeat that over and over. For me, I made uh, repeat row two till I have 36 rows. So your might be different. Um, 
depend on what yarn that you use and what size of your purse that you use. So you're just gonna repeat that and you can measure your bottom as uh, bottom back as well till you reach the other corner there. Remember I said your bottom have to be inside line of your purse frame. Okay? Now I have my bottom back and I have 36 rows. You might be different, it doesn't matter. Make sure you uh, measure your bottom back before we start next step. Make sure that inside of your uh, purse frame, that part is very, very important. Okay? All right, so next we're just gonna crochet around this uh, bottom here. So I'm just gonna make single crochet into each stitch. So I will show you what stitch you need to crochet in. So just right here. The stitch that we're gonna crochet in this side, which is the end of each row that we did. So the first stitch, I'm just gonna insert into this line here. This is the first single crochet, and I'm gonna place the marker. And then single crochet into next stitch right here. I hope you guys can see, <laughs> this is so small. And then single crochet into next stitch here. Single crochet into next stitch here. Single crochet into next stitch here. Okay, so you're just gonna keep uh, make single crochet into each stitch. Let me point out to you where the stitches is. So next stitch should be this one. Next stitch should be this one. And then next stitch should be this one. And then next stitch. You're going to keep making that all the way down. So I have 36 rows. I should have 36 stitches on this side when I come to the corner right here and then I start with 18 single crochet I should have 18 single crochet on this uh, side here okay and then I'm gonna crochet this side and I should have 36 single crochet because I have 36 rows and then crochet back this side and I should have 18 single crochet there all right so I will meet you guys when you come to the end, which is the marker stitch. Now I'm at the marker stitch and I have 108 stitches around this bottom here. Okay? You might be different, it doesn't matter. Okay? But uh, the pattern for this bag to create this stitch right here have to be art number so I have 108 that is not art number so I will increase one stitch I want to have mine um, 109 stitches okay if you have uh, art number you are good with that you don't have to increase or decrease if you have even number you need to increase or decrease it's up to you. So in the marker stitch, I'm gonna increase by making two single crochet into the same stitch. So I remove marker first and make two single crochet into that same stitch. So one and then place the marker into the first stitch. And then two. So after that, you're just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. So this is just 
set up row okay i don't count as row one or anything So just single crochet into next stitch and a single crochet into next stitch. Just keep making that single crochet into each stitch. When you come to the corner, just do the same normal single crochet into each stitch around till you come to the marker stitch and I will meet you guys back in. So now I uh, in the end of the row and I have 109 stitches so make sure you have the art number okay before we move on to the uh, body part I just gonna put my uh, bottom back in first so easier when you put it now than when you finish the back okay so I bring my this is needle point. I already cut mine to fit in uh, my bottom here. You want to fit just in uh, in the line that before we create two rows of single crochet. Okay, like I said, this is optional. You don't need to put this uh, uh, plastic in there if you don't want to, but it is help to make your purse stronger in the bottom. So I bring my purse fit here and bring it out. So this is gonna be the outside, okay? The plastic frame is inside of the bag. So I gonna put my purse fit around here. And then put the other one, make sure it's lined out perfect. You can decide put uh, wherever you like. This is how I put mine. This part is take uh, practice. <laughs> okay, make sure it's lined out perfect. And then bring the perfect. This is going to be inside of the bag, okay? I hope you can see. Okay, that's what it look like. The same line, and then I bring this thing. I'm not sure what to call it, and put it right there. You see, it's have two holes there. And then I'm going to close up. It's pretty hard. Sometimes you need some uh, screwdriver to help you close up that uh, part. Close this one as well. Just put it down as much as you can and you're gonna do the same with this side and then close up some brand is very soft some brand is very strong I like strong one <laughs> see that's what it look like and you're gonna do the same to the other side. Right here, and then right there. And do exactly the same, okay? And I will meet you guys back in. Now I'm done with put my purse fit in there. That's what it look like. And then next, we're gonna move on to next step. I'm gonna call this row one. So I'm gonna remove marker first and make single crochet in there. 
and place the marker back in. And then we're gonna make single crochet into next stitch but one row below. So this one but one row below, okay? So I want you to grab the yarn from uh, the top, not go under like this, okay? Go on the top and bring it up and make a single crochet. The reason I do that to make this yarn twist. And then next stitch, just gonna make a normal single crochet. Okay. Next stitch, we're going to make single crochet one row below. I hope you guys can see. First row is kind of difficult to see. So this one, one row below. Grab the yarn from on top, pull up a loop and make single crochet. And then next stitch, make a normal single crochet. It's like uh, normal single crochet and then single crochet one row below. Normal single crochet one uh, single crochet one row below. Okay, this is normal single crochet and then next stitch we're gonna make single crochet one row below. And then next stitch normal single crochet. And then. Next stitch, but one row below, right here. Sorry guys, it's kind of difficult to see. So this time I tried to grab the yarn from under just to show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like a V, not really twist. So if you want that, you can do that as well. But if you want like my bag, you're gonna grab the yarn from on top. So I do that again. This is one row below. Grab the yarn from on top. Next stitch, normal single crochet. And then next stitch, single crochet one row below. Next stitch, normal single crochet. And then next stitch, one row below. First row is kind of difficult to see, but after you uh, have like two, three rows after that, you're going to very easy to repeat. Okay, so next stitch, you're going to normal single crochet and then next stitch, one row below, repeat that around till you come to the end. I'm in the end of row one and I'm end up with normal single crochet. And when we start, we start with normal single crochet as well. And then for row two, we're gonna repeat that. So next stitch should be single crochet one row below. And then next stitch is normal single crochet. Okay, it's just like repeat that over and over. You not really need a marker, but I just wanna show you guys just couple rows. So next stitch, but one row below right here. Just continue the same pattern. And then place the marker. You you don't need to place the marker. I just want to show you guys, okay? <laughs> so next stitch is normal single crochet. And you can think it's this way as well. So if the previous row that you make single crochet one row below, so this row, we're going to make normal single crochet into that stitch. Okay. I hope it's that makes sense. So next stitch, we're going to make normal single crochet. See, on top of the uh, single crochet one row below from the uh, previous row. And then next stitch, single crochet one row below right here. right here I hope you guys can see 
and the next stitch, no more single crochet. And the next stitch, single crochet one row below. Next stitch, no more single crochet. Next stitch, one row below. And then single crochet into next stitch, normal. And then one row below into next stitch. See, we're going to repeat the same pattern. You're going to repeat that. So next stitch should be normal single crochet. And then next stitch should be single crochet one row below and then next stitch normal single crochet and then next stitch single crochet one row below repeat that around till you come to the end so I just want to show you guys it will create this stitch right here okay yeah I will meet you guys when you come to the end of row two I'm in the end of row 2 and I have the same 109 stitches because we're not increase or decrease, okay? Make sure you're not increase or decrease by accident. <laughs> okay? So from now on, we're just going to repeat the same pattern over and over. So now the last stitch for round 2 which is single crochet one row below. So next stitch in the marker stitch should be no more single crochet. Like I said, we not really need the uh, marker stitch. <laughs> so I just gonna remove marker. And I just gonna place the marker into this corner bottom here. Just to know where is the corner that we start and we end. That's it. Okay, so see, next stitch is just going to be no more single crochet. And then next stitch, single crochet one row below. And then next stitch, no more single crochet. And then next stitch, single crochet one row below. See, it's very easy. You're just going to repeat that over and over. When you come to the marker corner, you're not going to do anything special. You're just going to keep repeat this pattern. Okay, for me, I made 31 rows, which is about 5.5 inches. If you want longer, you can add more rows. And if you want shorter, you make less. And I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of row 31. Now I have 31 rows. That's what it looks like. And this is about 5.5 inches. Like I said, if you want longer, you make more rows. And if you want shorter, you make less. And then we gonna create uh, just normal single crochet a few rows. That's what inside look like. See, I stop at the uh, marker corner and I know that is the end of each row. So next, I just gonna make no more single crochet into each stitch around. So this is first stitch. And then next stitch, do the same, no more single crochet. Do the same with next stitch. I just gonna make three rows of no more crochet. No more single crochet, sorry, <laughs> around. Okay, you can make more than that or less. It's up to you. And then when you come around, you reach the uh, marker corner, you're going to keep making the same single crochet around till you have 
whatever the length that you like I just gonna make three rounds okay and I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of round three of single crochet stitches okay now I have three rounds of single crochet stitches it is about six inches like I said if you want your bag to be longer you can add more rows okay so this is the marker corner here where I stop and start okay and I just gonna weaving the end cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail pull the yarn out and then bring the yarn needle and then I gonna skip next stitch and then insert my yarn needle into next stitch right here bring it out and then I come back into the stitch that the yarn come from go into the back See, we create new stitch. That's why we skip the first stitch there. I like finishing this way. It looks beautiful. See? And then I'm just gonna hide my tail inside the bag. It's just gonna tie a knot here. So the trick for nylon yarn is, I mean, I like to do anyway. I cut the yarn and then I use lighter, light the end there. And the yarn is will stick together, it won't come off. I try to not do this way. The end is come off because nylon yarn is kinda like uh it's very really easy to come off. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do uh weaving all the end and hide the tail. So next you can uh, make the lining for the back first, or you can do that later. Like I said, I don't show you guys how to make the lining for this bag. I have separate tutorial for that. And I just gonna go ahead and put the lining first. And then after that, I gonna show you guys how to sew the purse frame into the purse here. Okay? Which is, I gonna show you in the part two. Alright? Okay, so I will show you in the part two.